I'm gonna run a back hole and uproot that tree. I wanna know where to go. Like, I want the gold. Give me the gold. I want the gold. You wanna know where the gold is? I'll tell you where the gold is. It's at Steven Sandsweep's house. Welcome back to the junk room, everybody. It's me, the junk man, and I'm coming back at you with a whole new video. You know, one question I get asked the most is, does a grown ass man really still buy old toys that he had as a child? But the question I get asked probably the second most is, did Kenner release a Darth Vader carrying case that was gold? Well, the short answer is no. Kenner never released a gold Darth Vader and carrying case. Thank you for watching. Uh, Fred, take us. Okay, I guess you want a little bit more than that. Why do people think Kenner released a gold carrying case? Well, the gold carrying case was shown on the cover of Steven Sansweep's great book, Star Wars, from concept to screen to collectibles. If you never read it, please search it out. I'm sure you can find it real cheap on eBay or Amazon. And no, I'm not going to put a link to it in the description below. Some of you can do some work yourself, can't you? So on the cover of that book, we got a look at the gold Darth Vader carrying case. And this was a time before there was a lot of information out about some of the prototypes and rare Star Wars stuff. So it got a lot of people talking. It does seem Kenner made about 100 of the gold Vader carrying case. But this wasn't to be sold at stores. They were testing the gold paint, or whatever they call it, to put onto the C-3PO carrying case that was planned to be released for Return of the Jedi. They wanted to make sure the gold would stay on the carrying case, wouldn't peel off, and maybe some kid would eat it and die. So before they even made a C-3PO carrying case, what did they do? They took the original Darth Vader carrying case and made it gold. And over the years since then, these gold ones have... Now, over the years, these gold carrying cases have made it out to the public, and they are in some collector's hands. Back in the 90s, there were a toy company called The Earth that sold a lot of prototypes, and they often would sell this gold carrying case. So, yes, there was a gold carrying case, but never released to the public, and, in fact, they did more than just the gold one. There's actually a silver one that I'm not really sure why it's silver. I couldn't find very much information about the silver one, just really one picture of it. It was most likely that they was going to make it silver and then paint over the silver with the gold. The good thing about the Darth Vader carrying case, it was all black mold. So even if you threw it around or got it scratched up, it's always going to stay black. There was even a prototype of a white, more marble looking Darth Vader carrying case. That just looks kind of weird, doesn't it? There's also another gold one that's known as the dull gold. It's not as shiny as the one most people know of. This gold was placed over translucent plastic for a prototype of the carrying case. And yes, even 3PO's carrying case itself went through many different prototypes in many different colors. There is a clear plastic one where you can actually see right through it. I kind of like that one, but then again, do I want to carry around my action figures and something see-through so everyone knows I have two weak ways? I'm not sure about that. They might try to borrow one or ask if they can have it. And I couldn't have that as a kid. Not giving away my Star Wars figures, even if I had more than one. There was also a prototype of a white C-3PO carrying case. And once again, like Vader, silver. As you can see with these pictures, a lot of work went into these carrying cases. Wasn't just something thrown together the last minute and shipped out there. Although they spent a lot of time on the look of the carrying case, I wish they spent a little bit more time on making the action figures actually stay in the case. I'm not sure about you, but every Darth Vader carrying case I've ever seen, you put the figures in, close it up, and as soon as you start walking to the store, they fall out of their little hole and fly all over the carrying case, and then you open it up and they spew out everywhere. Especially if it's a little figure like a Ugnut or a Yoda or a Jawa. There's no way that's staying in its little compartment. And while we're talking about it, what was Kenner thinking doing a 3PO carrying case? The Darth Vader carrying case was a huge hit, and of course they wanted to capture that for the Return of the Jedi line and do something kids wanted. But really, 3PO? They couldn't have done an R2 carrying case? Maybe that would have been better? Or how about a Boba Fett carrying case? That would have been cool. Or I would have loved to have seen a Jabba the Hutt carrying case. He could have done more than just his head. He could have had his whole body and just opened it up, had figures on it. He could put the weapons down by the tail, and maybe they would stay in there better. I don't know why they decided to go with 3PO. I mean, nothing against 3PO, but as a kid growing up in the early 80s, he might have liked him, but he really wasn't most people's favorite character. Anyway, I know this is kind of a short video today. I've been wanting to talk about this gold Darth Vader carrying case. 
and I wasn't really sure how to make it into a 15, 20 minute video because there's not really much information out there. All we really know, these were prototypes. They got out to the collector's market because they made so many of them. There were about a hundred of them made. And if you do find one, it's pretty rare. But be careful because they're easy to fake and there's a lot of fake ones that turn up on eBay. If you're one of those people that don't mind having fake toys in your collection or fake carrying cases or fake weapons, then maybe you'll be happy with a black Darth Vader carrying case that somebody just spray painted gold in their basement. If that makes you happy, go ahead and buy it. I mean, after all, that's what it's all about, being happy. Well, I'll be back later with another video. And until then, please share this video. Let everyone know about the gold Vader carrying case. And please, thumb up my video, subscribe to the channel, and until we talk again, Fred, can you believe people ask me sometimes who is Fred? Millennials. Fred, you want to take us out of here? Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>